Good morning, everyone. Today I will present our work, PVO Panoptic Visual Odometry. Before talking about PVO, let's first look at what can we do with PVO. The left side shows the running demo of PVO, given a monocular video, PVO can simultaneously estimate the camera pose and reconstruct a 3D map. The panoptic map here refers to panoptic 3D segmentation, including semantic segmentation and instance segmentation. The right side shows that we can apply PVO to video editing applications, such as manipulating the motion patterns of dynamic objects, acceleration, deceleration, reverse, etc., copying and pasting a new car, or copying dynamic objects from the original video to a new scene. Two tasks are proposed to model the geometry and motion of scenes, namely visual odometry, VO, and video panoptic segmentation, VPS. In particular, visual odometry takes monocular video as input and estimates the camera pose for each frame. It needs to recognize the dynamic objects of the video. In contrast, video panoptic segmentation first obtains the panoptic segmentation of a single image and then tracks the instances with the feature similarity which does not explicitly distinguish whether the objects are moving or not. Existing methods divide the two tasks without recognizing their relevance. Recently, a learning-based dense SLAM system, Droid SLAM demonstrates better accuracy and robustness than traditional methods. However, we find that it is not good enough in dynamic scenes. Droid SLAM is built on Raft, a state-of-the-art flow estimation method. Raft first extracts the feature and then constructs a 4D correlation volume. It defines a lookup operator which generates a feature map by indexing from the correlation volumes. The update operator produces an update direction delta F which is applied to the current estimate. While DROID SLAM presents a dense bundle adjustment layer to iteratively update the residuals of depth and camera pose using the estimated revised flows and weights. The cyan arrows. However, Dynamic objects may lead to ambiguity in optical flow estimation and there is no correlation constraint on the weights of the pixels of each instance. Some hybrid methods train motion semantics networks in a multitask manner and the loss functions may contradict each other. While we unify VO and VPS to model the scene comprehensively and make them mutually reinforcing by recurrent iterative optimization. Our insight is that VPS can help VO by adjusting the weight of droid slam with panoptic information, and VO can also help VPS by tracking and fusion the segmentation from 2D to 3D. Our framework consists of three modules, namely the Image Panoptic Segmentation Initialization Module, Light Blue Part, Panoptic Enhanced Visual Odometry Module, Light Yellow Part, and VO Enhanced Video Panoptic Segmentation Module, Light Red Part, respectively. The last two modules contribute to each other in a recurrent interactive manner. In the Panoptic Enhanced VO module, we add panoptic information to the dynamic mask. Especially, the stuff segmentation will be set as static, while the foreground objects with high dynamic probability will be set as dynamic. The confidence and panoptic aware dynamic mask are passed through a panoptic aware filtering module to obtain the panoptic aware confidence. As shown in the figure, this confidence can remove the dynamic interference and keep the static feature. In the VO Enhanced VPS module, we improve the segmentation accuracy by fusing the panoptic segmentation result of the current frame on the fly to the adjacent frames, using geometric information such as camera pose, depth, and optical flow obtained from the VO module. We also use feature alignment loss and segmentation consistent loss to train the online fusion module. Experiments on Kitty 2, Kitty, and TUM RGBD dynamic sequences show that the panoptic information can better reduce the interference of dynamic objects on the pose estimation and maintain high accuracy. Our recurrent iterative optimization can further improve the results. Experiments on Kitty 2 show the VO Enhanced VPS module is effective in improving segmentation accuracy and tracking consistency. Our recurrent iterative optimization can further improve the results. Our method also outperforms the VPS methods on cityscapes and Viper datasets. 
Qualitative results on Kitty 2 dataset 01 sequence. Kitty 2 dataset 20 sequence. Here we show the video editing effects of motion control, such as speed up, slow down, reverse, copy and paste, and delete the car. Video editing pipeline. With PVO, we can obtain segmentation and optical flow, depth, and pose results from the original video. Similarly, we can get the full scene modeling information, such as depth, and optical flow information in the new scene. We can select the target object and paste it into the new scene. To obtain the motion of the target object in the new scene, we merge the motion of the selected object of the original video and the new scene motion. Finally, we can warp our target object into the next frame. This is an example. Compared with the baseline, PVO can obtain more realistic editing effects. PVO also allows different motion manipulation of multiple moving objects, even if the camera is also moving. We can also replicate the same moving vehicle and keep the video consistent. In conclusion, PVO can unify VO and VPS to model the scene comprehensively and make them mutually reinforcing by recurrent iterative optimization. It can perform more robustly than DroidSlam in dynamic scenes and can be applied to video editing for motion control. In the future, we can add loop closure in SLAM and explore low-cost SLAM. Furthermore, we can also apply PVO to auto-driving simulation. Thank you for your watching.